What is going on, everybody? Super Yankee for Life here once again. Gonna bring you guys my N MLB season predictions for the year 2013. Um, I know baseball is not that very popular anymore, um, but you know it, it's it's 162 uh, bleh, 162 games, so it's bound to have its boring spots throughout the course of the year. But I think this time of year along with the NFL season starting is probably my two favorite times of the year. Um, baseball season starting, uh, March Madness, of course, um, that whole thing, uh, whole deal. Um, I might make a video on that tomorrow about uh, my brackets and whatnot. But anyway, this video is going to be about my MLB season predictions. I'm not going to go too far into detail as, as to who I think will win the, win the whole thing, but I will give you my, my division winners. I think we'll win, we'll, we'll win each, bleh, I can't even speak. Um, I'll tell you who I think will win each division, who I think will be the wild cards. Um, I guess we'll start in the American League. Um, the American League East um, very well could be the best division of baseball this year. I know it's been the best division probably for the last several years. You got the Yankees, Red Sox as your traditional powerhouses. But then you've got teams like Tampa Bay and teams like Baltimore who are up and coming on the rise, and then you got uh, Toronto who out uh, who in, in free agency went out and got and spent a lot of money, spent a lot of money, got got some key trades, um, and they seem to be in a, in a prime position to make a run at the American League East title this year and uh, really make a push for the World Series. Um, of course, I'm going to try to be as impartial about this as I, as I possibly can, um, because my my team is the Yankees, so I'll, I'll go with them, only because I like their starting pitching more. I think the Yankees starting pitching is, is I would say, better than Boston's. Um, Tampa Bay, they lost James Shields to free agency, um, which I think was a key loss, because he compliments he, he, that that one-two punch of James Shields and David Price was really was really good uh, for Tampa Bay. With um, but now he's gone, I think that's going to really hurt um, Tampa Bay as far as the rotation goes. I think I think it's going to put a lot more pressure on David Price. Uh, Baltimore is another team that I, I thought could contend for the division title, but um, they, they're a good team. They, they they gave the Yankees quite a handful in the uh, division series last year. Uh, Boston, uh, I'm not so sure about the rotation now since they pretty much cleaned house a year ago. Um, they do get, they did get Victorino, which always will be be a help at the top of the uh, batting lineup along with Pedroia, uh, uh, Ortiz. Uh, but yeah, I like the Yankees in the American League East. In the West, um, it's pretty much the Angels to lose. I I, I, would, I think everybody would, would agree on, would agree on that that this division, the American League West, is the Angels to lose. Um, or wait, the Angels to, to lose or wh wh whatever. I think they'll win the division. I think they will win this division pretty easily. Now Texas, you know, can't count them out. Their offense can put up. Eight runs a game. Uh, it's just it, it's incredible. Um, Hamilton, Cruz, um, Kinsler. Uh, they, 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 I think they end up they ended up losing Michael Young, I believe. Which I think um, if they did, I, I, I believe if they did lose Michael Young, that's going to really hurt them. I think. But um, offensively, they should be fine. Uh, rotation wise, I, they'll be okay. Um, but um, I, th I think the Angels are just on the rise right now. Uh, uh, not on the rise, but I think they are primed to take this division and just run away with it. I think I, w I think they'll walk, they'll run away with it, run away with it. Shoot! I, I'm sorry, I can't speak. When I when I get so excited, I just get tongue twisted sometimes. But um, I think by September, I think they will have this division almost locked up. I would I, I would think so. Um, a team like the Oakland A's, um, who are just a stud young team up and down the lineup, 
um, up and down the roster. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is their, their, their ability to score runs. I know they have this, this uh, young kid named Ioannis uh, Spades, or is that, I, I don't know how you pronounce his name, hopefully I pronounced it right, but um, he's, a, he's a fine, fine young player. Um, he, he's he's going to win, a, gonna win a, a batting title or two uh, next few years. But um, they have a nice young rotation um, as well, so they, they are, they're going to be some prime. They're going to be prime contenders in the AL West for many years to come. But I think the Angels right now, just the way they look, they are stacked head from head to toe on paper um, to win the, the AL West. But um, the AL Central, I think it's the Tigers' division to lose or to win or whatever. I, I don't know how the expression goes, but um, they get Victor Martinez back. Um, who I think missed pretty much all of last year. Um, I think it's going to help help them with the, with the rotation. Um, they went on and got Tory Hunter, nice, good veteran ball player. Um, also got Miguel Cabrera, uh, first Triple Crown winner since 67, since Carl Y. Yastrzemski. Um, of course, they got Verlander, who I think is the best pitcher in the game. So I think, I think the Tigers are pretty much going to run away with the American League Central. And as for the wild cards, remember, they, they switched up the format for the wild cards. They did this last year. There's there's now going to be two wild cards from each league. And those two wild cards will face each other in a one-game playoff to see who will be the official wild card that will advance to the division series. Um, last year, I think it was the Rangers and the Orioles. This year, I have the same two teams facing off. I think the Rangers and the Orioles, based on what I've seen uh, last year um, from these two teams, the, the Rangers on the other front, they, they collapsed. They absolutely just collapsed. They had the AL West won. The A's just came in, just stormed ahead. They had to play the, play the one-game playoff against Baltimore at home, and they ended up losing that. But um, I think these two, two, two teams will play again for that one-game playoff, and I expect the Rangers to beat the Orioles this time and uh, claim that wild-card spot. Okay, so for the National League, um, in the East, I got the Nationals winning. Um, I think having, you know, um, Strasburg for a full year now, um, I hopefully doesn't get to be a part of that whole 160-inning limit um, BS that was part of, you know, I, I think, I really thought, I really think they, they could have won the whole thing last year if he was allowed to pitch, um, um, for the, like the, if he wasn't shut down for the rest of the year at 160 innings, but um, uh, I could have went with Atlanta, possibly, but, or, 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 the, or Philly, or for that matter, but um, I like, I just like what I see from uh, the Nationals. The West, obviously, the Angels doing all their spinning on, in the uh, Mayo West. The Dodgers do the same exact thing. Um, they got uh, who else? They got a slew, of, a slew of players from the Red Sox. They got Crawford, Josh Beckett, Adrian Gonzalez. Um, that that lineup for for the Dodgers that might be the best lineup in baseball. One through one through eight, one through nine, or whatever. But um, got Matt Camp. Um, Andre Ethier, incredible lineup. Uh, for the Central, I got the Reds winning the whole, uh, winning the Central. Uh, I could have won St. Louis. Um, uh, Pittsburgh is another one, one of those teams that I think could surprise me or a lot of people in the, in the Central, but I like the Reds. Um, not only for their, for their pitching, but for the lineup as well. And for the two wild cards, you gotta give the, you, you gotta put the defending world champion Giants in there as the contender for the playoffs and the Phillies as well, but I believe the Phillies will win the one-game playoff over the Giants um, in the National League. So, that's all, that's as, uh, that's, uh, son of a gun. That is as far as I will go with these predictions. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed these. Until next time, Super Yankee for Life, signing off. Peace.